What's happening everybody? This is 5491. This is going to be video number two of the pilot helmet. I'm going to go a little bit in depth uh, about the earpieces. Uh, as you can see right here from the reflection of the sun um, showing the inside of it, I wanted to show a little bit more of, of uh, the range um, of the putty that I put on the inside um, so that I could work on those crevices. Um, in the other video I didn't really go in, into detail about it but the uh, mold had broke and so many uh, versions of this helmet were were uh, sold at a discount and uh, I actually enjoy the challenge of this type of work so it um, wasn't about the money for me it was more about the uh, the challenge of uh, getting it done but as you can see what I did was uh, the earpieces were real weak uh, one of them actually caved in after I had worked on it a little bit so I knew then I needed to build it up with some putty and some liquid resin and what I did is I sanded all that area real good um, built the putty up a little bit higher so that uh, when I drill through on the other side I can have a, a molded area um, on this one uh, I actually uh, from the inside um, put it in while it was while it was fresh I uh, you know I sanded that whole area from the inside so that the putty would bond with it and then on the other side I went ahead and I used a uh, throat uh, thing that they uh, use at the doctor's office and I used that to uh, actually sculpt the, the area um, on the outside which uh, as you can see I could only get so far in there and then uh, I'm going to go back in with uh, some fine detail uh, Dremel tools and I'm going to clean all that up and uh, at least make it and on the other side it's actually a little different. Um, some of these helmet uh, makers, they, you know, have what they call, they may be imperfections to one, but they're also markers um, to indicate uh, who the artist was that actually sculpted the piece. Um, and, you know, they, and it's not, you know, done with a computer, so it is actually done with someone's mind and uh, hands and eyes, so it's not going to be perfect. But either way, uh, you can see right here where I started to work on the putty areas. Um, and uh, I've still got a little work on this for sure. Um, it's going to be a lot of a lot of detail work, but like I said, it's something I'm. That's the type of work I actually enjoy doing on these things. And uh, as much as I love a perfect helmet, which I do get from time to time, um, I do like the ones that are that are ragged out, so uh, I can see uh, how good I can push myself to to be as uh, skillful with some of this, to maybe even making my own one day. Alright, I'll uh, be back with another video. It'll be probably a while because I have a lot of sand and a lot of work to do on this, but uh, the next video will at least show uh, my progress. And as always, if you have any questions or anything, uh, be sure to just drop me a message and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Alright, y'all be cool. Peace.